cutting down trees around the house. Hello, welcome to Seven Seven's Garden, where we talk about gardening, ways to save money, and other special events. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. Hello, welcome to the channel. So uh, we're cutting down two trees around the um, around the house. Uh, so we have I have this company over here cutting down the trees. Yeah, it started with the first one, and. Uh, and you can see they have a huge crane that just uh, pulls everything down, and then uh, they have this machine that just eats up the um, eats up the, uh, the the tree, the branches, and the leaves. Uh, you have this guy up here; um, he's trying to tie up the uh, he's trying to tie up the uh, the branches so that when they cut it, the machine can just pull it away from uh, the. Uh, the uh, electrical cables and the other stuff around the bottom so um and you can see how big the tree is and you have one other person on the crane um that's gonna cut later on once he's uh done um uh tying up the uh, branches that they're gonna cut so i think he's done uh tying it up so he's gonna drop off and then the uh probably the next person uh on the crane is gonna cut now so it looks like it's something that you, you can see how professional he does it. Uh oh. Um, he's, he's look bit, uh, something that they do uh, very often. So definitely um, he's used to that. So I think he's just pulling out the cables now. So this machine, this is another uh, branch that they brought down. The machine is sh uh, just shredding the branches and the leaves. And then he's gone back up. Uh, I think it's gonna tie another one and then uh, then they're gonna cut that one two down He's done tying it and uh, they just cut it. You can see the queen is just pulling it away and uh, pulling it away to the ground where they're gonna put it in the shredder. I call it my, I call it the shredder, but uh, I it might have a different name for it, but uh, wood chipper or something. So they're doing another one. So he's gonna cut that one uh, and that one is already tied. And he's just cutting it down. You've got a big stump, the big trunk of uh, the tree they're cutting, and the machine is just gonna pick it up. This is a, the biggest, um, at least the biggest machine I've seen uh, for cutting trees. And it, it can, I think it can definitely uh, maybe take half of the tree by itself uh, with no problem, but I'm sure they just wanna be cautious when doing it. But you can see that's like one third the tree cut, and it's just pulling it uh far away from uh the storm and then they're just gonna drop it where the uh the shredder is so what these guys are doing is they just cut any branches that they think is gonna be like too wide for it to get into the uh uh to get into the the shredder they just cut it but now they're just using a uh, a rope to pull it. the machine pulls it into the uh, shredder and it shreds it you see and it just pulls everything in and in no time all the branches and the leaves are shredded and sent into the, uh, the, the truck that's packed behind it So the machines are getting bigger and bigger every day. See, everything is all gone. They shredded everything. So they're doing uh, the next one now. So I'm sure they're going to cut it maybe one or two more times before uh, the tree is done. So 
Um, I'm sure they can just take the whole tree like this right now, but I'm sure they just want to be on the safe side. I'm sure this machine is powerful enough to do uh, the whole tree, but they're just going to go bit by bit. So you're just going to cut half. You can see big, big storm. The tree just pulls it like no issues, no problem, and just drops it. And they, they're just going to cut it. Now they, they say they're not going to shred the big tree like this. They're just going to carry it with them like that. And uh, they're going to do the last part, the bottom of the tree. The guy's cutting it. And then the machine is just going to pull it up. Wow. The machine just pulls everything. That is it. The tree is done. That one tree is done. So we still have one to go, but this one tree is done. I say we need no time. So overall, from the beginning to the end, the tree cutting, uh, this particular tree took about, um, I'll say maybe about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. I think the main, the, what took a lot of time was just tying up the various branches and various, and the guy going up and tying all the branches, then cutting it and get, then getting out. So that is it. That tree is done in no time. Um, and then they're going to start this one that's closer to the house. This one is a, little, uh, a lot bigger than the other one. So uh, he's up there just cutting it. You can see he just pulled the first branch out. And we have a couple of uh, wire lines like power and phone lines below. So they're just going to pull it away from the house and away from the phone lines. Um, if you like the video so far, smash a like button and let me know in the comments below what you think about the video. If you've had, if you've seen them cut trees like this, especially big, taking up big chunks of tree like this, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, if you are not following me yet, you haven't subscribed to the channel, follow me for more videos like this. You can see, uh, they're just pulling, cutting it is going really, really nice and smoothly. The queen is just grabbing it. Once they tie it, they cut it, and the queen just picks it up. Look at this is a huge chunk that's been pulled away to uh, the front uh, where they are shredding the tree branches and the stumps and the and the leaves. See, that is it. They're cutting it. It's almost gone. Uh, I think they have maybe one or two more times to cut it. That's a huge tree right there, almost gone. I think they're waiting for the other guy and the machine to come back so that they can do it. The guy's uh, tying it up and they're just gonna cut it and that will be it. So this one, they have two machines, the one with the queen where the guy's um, using it to cut and the other one is just to lift the tree off and, um, and the, then they bring it back. So the queen is back again. Like I said, this is the biggest, I've seen, I've seen a lot of trees being cut with a lot of machines, but this is the biggest I've seen so far in terms of the queen. The queen is very big and very, it's able to lift a lot of the tree out with no issues. I'm sure there are bigger ones than this, but this is the biggest I've seen so far. See that they're gonna cut it into half and then just leave the whole of that tree out. And then leave just maybe a little piece, uh, another half that you're just gonna, just gonna do. So they've cut with this tree, they've cut about six, six times and the tree is almost done, right? So six would complete the tree. This is a foot. Um, a fourth or fifth piece that they are pulling out right now that they're going to cut and pull out. Wow, this is, this is awesome. And uh, cutting of the trees is going to at least expose the roof to more sunlight and the greenhouse and the garden to more sunlight during the summer. Uh, so that's going to help, um, uh, in the garden and it's gonna help with the greenhouse and also um, it's gonna help when uh, gonna install some solar on the roof of the house so they just cut the branch from there and they're gonna cut the other branch 
right there. This is another big piece. So that will be the feet one, right? And uh, then th this one now, uh, the thing you're just gonna cut it from the bottom. Yeah, they're gonna cut it from the bottom. Look at how big the trunk is. See? Look at the big trunk. So they're just gonna cut some of the uh, the branches off and then they're just gonna they have a another machine that just carries carries it and puts it in the uh, truck but right now they're just gonna have to probably cut the branches off tiny branches off before that's the truck uh, that's gonna take some of this stuff so that's a huge branch right there They're just cutting the tiny branches out. You can see how easy the, the, uh, the queen just moves the, the trunk around. Make it easier for the, the guy cutting it to cut it with no issues. So I'm sure they're gonna take out once they, they're done uh, with that. They're gonna take out the last part of the tree, which is the main bottom of the trunk of the tree that's left. You can see the, um, they already tied the bottom of the tree, uh, the top of the tree, and the the, the guy is just cutting the uh, the bottom of the tree so that they can just pull the trunk out of there while these other people are shredding the uh, um, the other. Um, leaves and branches uh, the last leaves and branches that were brought so you can see you're just pouring the machine the machine is just shredding everything and putting it into the um uh, the, the truck so he's cutting uh, i think he's almost done cutting the trunk of the tree I think he has to cut uh, one more notch on this side for it to get up, uh, for it to be done. So it's a large tree trunk, so definitely um, you're gonna make sure that they cut all, all around it before they, uh, the crane can just pull it. You can see the crane right there, you can see the size of the crane. So the crane is just gonna pull it out and moving now but it's not completely out up oh, there there it goes all done wow that's a big all done uh, it looks like there's a hole at the bottom oh that guy got into the hole there's a hole at the bottom it looks like the tree had a uh, looks like the tree had a uh, rotted pad inside uh oh let's see Yep, it had a big, it had a big hole in the bottom of the tree. Wow, luckily that we cut the tree now. Um, if not, that tree would have fallen anytime soon because if it's rotten like that inside. Okay, we're gonna take a look and see how bad it is or how bad the, uh, the, the tree had already gone. No idea, no idea the tree had to... Uh, had some rotted pieces in there like that so let me go take a look and see i'll get closer see if we can see exactly how big and how rotted the tree was because you can see the black spot on the tree see look at that that is huge so look at the the, 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 the storm right here wow that's like 
I think about three feet deep. Yep. And all the sides, you can, you can see all the sides like that. All the sides were all gone. Just the outer shell about, I say about maybe six or 10 inches holding the, uh, on all, all around, six or 10 inches holding it. This is the other tree stump that was close to the road. It looks good, it looks fine. It doesn't, didn't have any issues really. I didn't know they had, the other one had any issues. So this is what I've done. I used the wood chips from the uh, the tree and just filled it up so that uh, somebody or an animal doesn't fall into it. And um, I'm thinking of planting some stuff in this trunk next year, next season. So stay tuned for that. Okay, that is it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Follow me for more videos like this and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching the video.